Hi everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. this is Mike and welcome to the top 10 mocks video. First I would like to apologize for the lack of the video last week, I wasn't able to finish this one in time, but hey I selected those mocks, so why not put them in this week's video. I hope you're gonna enjoy them and uh, let's get to it. Remember the ranking of the mocks is not that much important, number 1 can be better than number 10 in your opinion, so feel free to disagree. And at the end of the episode I'm showing your fan creations that you guys are sending to our email, the email is brickvaultfanmocks at gmail.com the rules to send your mocks are below so if you want to submit more creations for next week feel free to do so five pictures per email five pictures per mock that is send them away to be featured in the episode and a quick update on our web store the latest mock that landed in our web store is the red fox from felix that's a new build for our web store so check that one out it's a bit different than the vehicles we used to have jack made an awesome video about this mock last friday so feel free to check this one out and remember that every purchase you guys make supports our channel and also the designers that we work with like felix and the first one here, number 10, comes from Chamosław Chamek. I can totally say that name because the guy is Polish. And this is named Landspeeder Poli from the Nalsar series. Nalsar is a great pun for NASCAR racing. It stands for National Association for Landspeeder Auto Racing. I really like that simple design, great usage of parts for the engine. Fits a minifigure as you can see and is pretty much studless. Looks uh, like a mix between a police speeder and something from Tatooine that we are so familiar with. And overall I like it. I don't know why. I just like it. it. I know it's simple, but it's good. Not everything has to be a massive spaceship or a massive creation. So if something catches my eye, it does end up on this week's list. And this one has all the marks to become a good mock for the list. Number nine is coming from a very talented builder, Tyler. I really dig his builds. Those are quite simple, but yet very expressive in many ways. For example, he did the Halloween faces or the not this year, a Rambo chicken. And the newest mock from him is called the Healthy Snack. As you can see, we have a mutant carrot in tennis shoes trying to chow down a very scared bunny. I think he's squeezing him too much, but the expressions on both faces are just brilliant. Awesome photography and posability, as you can see, for that simple build. And I guess that is what we could expect if carrots ruled the earth. So uh, keep them coming, Tyler. I do enjoy your builds a lot, and they're always very creative and just plain funny. And going up to number 8, if you remember the David Zambiro's Microscale Hogwarts Express from about 2 weeks ago, I think it was in Jack's episode. This one is Micro Microscale from Red Tranger Absurd. Hogwarts Express in the most miniature version ever. Fantastic use of those Nexonites claw elements as I call them. A lot of them have been seen in the latest Porg creature. And now they created those beautifully looking mountains on the side of this bridge. I mean, I could not think of any better piece to create a mountainous slope. The train is great as well, we got some droid arms for the smoke, that is another creative way of portraying that part, and a clever usage of the T piece between those two snap pieces in red. Makes this uh, locomotive of Hogwarts Express look very realistic in such a micro model. A great piece of micro Lego engineering and he has more if you wanna check out his Flickr page. Number 7 is by far more minifigure scale and a great display piece, oh my god I love this one. This one is coming from Marcus Rohr Bueller. The name is Philias Bakery and this one is part of a series of creations that come together as Rogu Bricks Castle for the RPG Nine Kingdoms. As it usually goes with such mocks, I don't know where to start. Every single piece of detail is just very, very good. Maybe starting from the left, we have the Baker's Oven. There is a great use of piece of a snake on top for that smoke effect. Overall, I like the uh, surface of the mock with just round uh, tiles to portray the cobblestone. There is something really nice about not using a base plate. A very clever design for the wall with the windows on the left side. I can see some upside down chest and the chest cover uh, elements there. Super cool. There is a cat chasing a bird on the roof and I love the use of those cheese elements to portray this irregular roof. More cheese elements for that cone shaped uh, tower in the middle. Pretzel pieces for the windows below. I mean, oh my god, so many great usages. This is one of the most wonderful buildings I've seen this year by far. And if I see correctly, I think he used that plastic piece that holds the wands uh, from Harry Potter sets to portray this candle stand in black. That's just genius. 
genius. And look at that dark green plant on the right. I don't even know what element that is. It looks great. It's cute, it's detailed, it's perfect for this week's uh, list. Going up for number 6, we have Holger Mathes with his LEGO VT 11.5 Trans Europe Express, the TEE. That is a astonishingly well-made uh, model of a train. Looks to me like one of those Pico trains, a company well-known for providing amazing models for those train enthusiasts. But yep, this is all LEGO. The sleek curves for the front of the train are made beautifully, I love the techniques used here. It's very hard to achieve such angles and shapes in LEGO, believe me or not. The whole model contains of uh, several train cars and each one of them is very sleek looking. The scale is perfect and I think if you put that one uh, along with other maybe plastic models of trains in someone's very advanced diorama, you would not be able to tell a difference which one is LEGO and which one is just Pico model or other plastic model in that diorama. That's how good it is and I'm really glad I found this one. That is a new designer I bumped into so I'm gonna be following him for sure. Number 5 is the comeback of Josh David. He is making an amazing kinetic sculptures out of Lego, similarly to Jason from JK Brickworks. And he went Star Wars once more with this X-Wing kinetic sculpture. You may think it's a very simple build at first glance but there is much more to it. As you can see the opening, the X-Wing can actually fly to left and right as portrayed him flying in the trench of a Death Star. That is just a small piece of the trench but imagine having many of those connected in somewhat of a modular fashion to create the full trench run and maybe include some TIE fighters chasing the X-Wing and Vader's X-1 advance. Really cool and I love the creativity of those guys creating those kinetic sculptures. I think Josh and Jason together are unprecedented when it comes to such creations. Number 4, a much more grandeur mock than the previous ones. This is coming from Brother Steven and the name is The City of Alien. Some of the mocks we featured from Brother Steven were also quite amazing ones and he definitely keeps his impressive style in this one. It seems like a fantasy city floating in the air, high in the clouds. There is some lore to it as he describes, it's titled The Crown of Cerulea and I love this half circle shape and all the towers pointing in different spots of the city. Seems like the open area in the middle is some sort of a dock for flying ships maybe and i love that he included some colorful buildings along those castle ones with the beautiful clock tower in the middle all right heading into the top three i have some very cute build for you in that spot there is a mini lego mini Cooper to be specific, coming from Pixel Junkie, one of my favorite designers, I think I've featured him a number of times before, but he keeps creating so why not, right? Last time we have seen his vintage garage and he's more into vehicles, this Mini Cooper is just perfectly cute. Actually I love the use of chrome pieces in this one, I don't mind it's custom, it just adds so much flavor to this small car. There is so much in this front of the car, there is so much soul capture into it. I love the use of chrome elements for the lights, there is a small Mini Cooper emblem, I think that is a chromified sticker of some sorts beautiful bumper with the um, license plate and if you can see on the side door he used the roller skate pieces for the door handles that's just uh, genius there is a nice look on the wheels that is a quite a rare tire to use in lego and the chrome rims just add a lot of flavor as well and of course this guy can fit uh, quite comfortably to be honest a minifigure he also captured some of the um, in action pictures of the 1967 monte carlo rally with that mini cooper and he has also a second version in white and both actually portrayed with some sort of a baggage on top like the mini coopers used to have when you travel a lot amazing mock and i think it very well deserves the number three spot this week number two all right it's gonna be a biased choice but finally someone did it this is the roadster tesla with starman made by adrian drake Personally, I think the launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket last year with the payload of that Tesla Roadster with the Starman figure in the cockpit was one of the coolest events in humanity's history. And now we finally have a quite a big model of this um, iconic Roadster. A brick build car, which is not uh, usual these days. Many people just like to go studless or Technic, but this time around we have a brick build car. And I don't really mind as long as the shape is captured nicely and the angles are right. Plus it leaves space for some interior. The Starman figure the brick build figure fits just fine inside behind the wheel and this picture just shows how accurate this thing is when compared to the real picture of the legendary starman uh, circling or orbiting the earth i'm really happy someone made this car into existence in lego form and reminds me that lego really should reach out to elon musk to make this spacex slash tesla collab with lego happen and for number one i have something truly unorthodox <laughs> This is uh, coming from builder Tyler Sky and he's known for his uh, friend's affixation in uh, many ways. And this is the BFF Bewing. 
Now it's a bit different than the viewing we offer in our web store from Intherd. That one is much more serious and, you know, a bit detailed in a different way. But this one is just a great take on what would happen if friends had spaceships. Tyler is not a rookie in this matter. He made a BFF Y-Wing and there was the Type 70 Type F, I think, X-Wing of some sort in friends' uh, colors and over-exaggerated shapes. And now we have finally space for the B-Wing, pun intended. It hosts uh, two minifigures, or mini dolls to be specific in the cockpit, which actually look great in those um, rebel helmets. And the whole color scheme of uh, white and dark pink and purple and lighter pink and so on and so on actually works pretty good for that ship. It captures the shape of the B-Wing quite good, so in terms of like engineering side of an actual B-Wing ship it's very accurate. You can see the cockpit is also pivoting in somewhat of a gyro fashion like the real B-Wing. And overall it's just an appealing build to look at. I'm always Always enjoying creative approaches to well-known franchises and LEGO is all about creativity so this one fits perfectly. If you want to check out more of the Tyler's designs go ahead to check out his Flickr page. A lot of cool things, most of them friends related, but that just shows true passion to that colorful theme. Alright guys, and that's gonna be it for this week's top 10 mocks. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this week's selection. I tried to get uh, really good ones in there. And now it is time to take a look at your fan creations that you guys are sending to our email. Keep sending them, I really enjoy checking out what you guys have built. So thanks so much for watching again, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click that like button if you like what we do and click that bell button if you want to know whenever we make a new video. I hope to see you again on Brick Vault. it was Mike and now let's all enjoy your fan mocks.